Hello, Lele. My name is Miyakami. Welcome to my world. I'd like to apologize in advance. When you become a teacher, nobody really tells you that your students are petri dishes of illness. And so there was a flu that came around and it caught up with me, which is why I sound like this. My name is Miyakami. I am a, an artist, a storyteller, Our mana refers a singer, songwriter, and an activist. Who we are is in the depths of the mana of the Tibet. And I'm currently based in Tonga, where I teach at um, the Bo College, Toloa. Yeah, but this is normally where it's at. It's where the magic happens, where I change lives. I grew up here in Tonga first, for the first 10 years of my life. My dad got a job in Fiji, in Suva. And so I spent the next 14 years in Suva. So I came to Tonga in May last year, 2022. I want to come back and give back to the community here. When I started teaching here, um, nothing could have prepared me for the experience that Toloa was going to present. Um, my relationship with my students, I think, is me just kind of putting out my personality onto them and them kind of just gauging how to respond. <laughs> it's just a very unique experience. And uh, I really do love my students. It's a real privilege to be working there. I did a TED Talk in New York. Um, this was in September last year, 2022. And um, I was really fortunate to do um, the TED Talk together with four other storytellers. We talked about indigenous guardianship. I'm very proud to be here as a storyteller telling our Pacific stories through this song, Mana. Because it was so intimate and personal, it was really great being able to talk story and share song and uh, to take a piece of the Pacific with me to a place like New York. I went to Manchester to attend the One Young World Summit. And then they came to me and they're like, yo, we need, um, we need someone from the Pacific to be a part of this shoot. And then they told me it was for Vanity Fair and I was like, I cannot come as I am. My mother needs to see that I am dressed appropriately and properly. I wanted to make sure that I rep the country well and properly. You don't see a lot of Pacific Islanders in a magazine like Vanity Fair, so I'm really honored that I got to be picked. I decided that I wanted to pursue storytelling through music when I realized that there were all these stories that needed to be told by Pacific people. I, of course, wasn't a scholar, but I am an artist. I, I write music, I sing songs, and so I thought the best way that I could contribute um, of, by telling our stories was through music and through art. Like the wind we still move, like the waves we rise high, like the sun we never die. The inspiration for Rooted came from an anti-logging campaign that they were doing in the Oro province of Papua New Guinea. The inspiration really was how our resources are so taken advantage of by outside countries and um, and it's very disempowering for us as Pacific people. And so um, I wanted to write about how we're more than just this place for people to come into and take things. And so I wanted to focus on resilience and how no matter how much you take from us, we're still here. We're here to stay, no matter how much you take from us. Even when we lose our land, when we lose, when our oceans take over, or when the waters continue to rise, like we're still here because we're more than just physical, we're cultural, we're traditional. Our identity is rooted in who we are, not only where we come from. Um, music has always been a way of my, for my family to get together. My sister, my late sister and I, uh, before she died, we would always sing together. And so after she died, music was sort of the way that I felt I could stay connected to her. And so it's just always been this, this part of my life where it's who I am. It's uh, how I've always connected to who I am and my identity. My family is the most important part of what I do. And I miss them like so much being here, um, but they're very supportive. And um, they're also, we're also very honest with each other. So they'll tell me if I need to do something better. And I know that I wouldn't be the person that I am today 
if they didn't do that. And so, yeah, I miss them a lot, but I'm really happy that I have them. What I hope that people take away from my music um, and understanding that our Pacific artists are more than just our sob stories, like we're resilient, we're, we're people that feel things more than just what's happening to us in a bad way. Like we have so much to celebrate and yet people get stuck on the things that we don't have. And so I think when it comes to like the stories that they need to hear from the Pacific, it should be less so about looking at what we don't have, looking more at what we do have and what we've gained. There's just so much about the Pacific that's more than just those sub stories that people push.